okay, we've installed our DVR card or cards and rebooted our system. And after maybe a minute or so, Windows is going to present the found new hardware wizard window. Now, this is Windows' way of basically, you know, explaining to the user that it has found a new piece of hardware and it really doesn't know what to do with it. It doesn't have drivers. Um, when you install our software, it installs drivers for the product without Windows having to do it itself. So essentially, to make a long story short, you need to click cancel when this is presented on your screen. Now, I'm going to click cancel here and you'll see that the window is going to pop up again. I'm going to click cancel again. It's going to pop up again. Now, this happens because Windows has to, it, Windows is trying to install a driver for each channel on your DVR card. So you're going to have to click cancel. Uh, the number of times you click cancel is going to be relative to the number of channels on your card. I have a four, I just installed a four channel card, so I have to click cancel a total, no, a, a total number of four times. If you have a 16 channel DVR card, you're going you're to have to click cancel 16 times and so on. Same with 24, 32. So you, you'll, no matter what card you have, you're going to have to click cancel several times. So that's number three, and this is number four. Okay. Now that we've gone through that process, it's time to go ahead and install the software. So you take the CD that came with your DVR card, put it in your CD-ROM drive, and eventually Windows is going to present us with a screen asking what we want to do with the, the CD that we've just inserted. And uh, we'll give it a moment to show show up on the desktop okay and there it is when this window comes up you want to choose open folder to view files and as you can see I had to scroll down in order to get that option so I'm gonna click open folder to view files and then click OK and it it's gonna show you the contents of the CD uh, you need to double click on this folder here that says V8.0 and this part is really important we have different folders for the different types of cards that we carry for this particular product line if if you have a, a real-time card meaning it, it records 30 frames per second per channel then you're gonna open up this folder called all other cards uh, we have about three other cards that are slightly different. We have a four channel 30 card uh, that records at seven and a half frames per second. If you have that card, you need to open up this folder, the one that says four channel 30. Uh, there is a four channel 120 uh, frame per second card with audio. If you have that one, you open up the second folder, which, which says four channel 120 FPS with audio. And lastly, there's a, a, another card, a 16 channel 120. Uh, it's a 60 channel card that does seven and a half frames per second per channel. Um, and if you have that card, you open up this folder. Most customers are, 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 are going to have to open up the folder called all other cards. I, I just finished installing a four channel 120 FPS card. So uh, it's doing 30 frames per second per channel. So I'm going to open up all other cards and inside of this folder you're gonna see a bunch of different files the one you need to open up or double click on is setup it's gonna look like a little uh, computer a little desktop computer with a monitor next to it so you double click that and the installer is initialized uh, the first wonder that comes up you want to choose DVR system click next A welcome screen comes up and click next and this is where it's asking if you want to install the video device drivers since we canceled the installation of drivers via Windows XP uh, for this stage for, for in this stage in the installation process we we do want to install video device drivers so make sure that install video device drivers is selected it's usually selected by default so you're just going to click next and you're going to get a window that pops up and it's going to say that 
eDigital Deals video capture device has not passed window logo testing to verify its compatibility with Windows XP. Uh, this is very similar to the screen that came up uh, initially uh, on the Windows desktop after we uh, rebooted, after we had installed the DVR card. You're going to have to click continue anyway the same number of times uh, relative to the number of channels on your card rather. So I'm going to have to click this four times, continue anyway. It's one, two, three, four. And then it brings us back to the next step. Uh, it's, this step is just telling you where it's installing the, the software for the DVR card. So you can just click Next. Please select Video Format. Uh, United States, uh, NTSC is the more common standard. Depending on the country you're in, uh, you may choose PAL, but uh, for most of our customers, uh, NTSC will suffice. Click Next. And on this screen, this is where you choose your, your video format. Uh, for this one, uh, essentially what you're going to do, if you, have, if you have a PCI Express or an AGP video card that, uh, that is 128-bit, then you're going to choose Direct Draw GEN. Typically, uh, if, if, if you're using a computer that has an ATI or an NVIDIA card that's been purchased in the past probably three years, you should be fine. Uh, you, you, cho you choose Direct Draw Gen. For customers that have onboard video, like the Intel 950 uh, onboard video card that's actually a part of the motherboard on a lot of units, um, you would choose Direct 3D. Um, if you're not sure, you can change this later on. So if you're not sure, just go ahead and choose Direct Draw GEN and then click Next. And it's going to go through the rest of the installation process. And usually when it's finished, the product manual pops up. Well, actually, the last screen comes up and you, you click finish. And then the product manual comes up. And that's it. Now we have installed the DVR software and um, we'll be able to take you to another video and show you all the different features. If you look at the, the manual that shows up, there's a table of contents on the left that essentially uh, allows you to click a link and it'll take you to different sections explaining the different features of the DVR software. So that's it for installation and we'll continue with this in the next video.